Hello and welcome to this video about installment plans. This video will explain what installment plans are, how you can add one, and how to build jobs to installment plans. In Service Autopilot, invoices are automatically created when a job is completed. Some companies prefer to bill in preset seasonal or monthly amounts. You would use an installment plan to do this. For example, you might have a commercial account where they pay a certain amount per month for you to do on-call or routine maintenance. You would create an installment plan for them to invoice the account the agreed amount every month. Then, the scheduled services will be tied to the installment plan so they do not generate additional invoices when the jobs are completed. To add an installment plan, either go to Accounting, then Installment Plans, and click Add Installment Plan, or navigate to an Account Review Overlay. From there, click Advanced Actions, then Installment Plan. Either way, you will see the Add Installment Plan Overlay. Enter an installment plan name. This can help you remember what services should be tied to this plan if an account has more than one. The start and end dates will be automatically set to the current date and a year from the current date. These dates do affect overages, so you might want to adjust them, particularly for snow plans. These dates do not indicate when the plan will generate invoices, meaning the plan will continue to generate invoices after the end date. Print Preferences determines what will appear on the invoice. There are four options on this list. The No options will populate an additional field, Default Line Item Description. You can use this field to display different text than the installment plan line item descriptions. This would be useful if you had several line items each month but wanted something concise on the invoice, such as monthly maintenance contract. These options can be confusing, so let's go over each one individually. No, only print default line item description will show this field on the invoice. No, print default line item description and visit line items will show this field as one line item and whatever the invoice description is for each completed service. Yes, include installment plan line items will display whatever is in this column for each month an invoice is generated. The last option, yes, include visit line items, would include the installment plan line items and the invoice descriptions for each completed service that is billed to the installment plan. The billing day defaults to the first of the month. If you want the invoice date to show as the last day of the month, enter 31. If you want to send out the invoice before any services are performed, toggle the switch under Bill in Advance. When an invoice is generated in March, for example, it would be for April's intended services. One important feature to note under Show Advanced Options is the Auto Generate Invoices function. By default, this is set to Yes, so on the selected billing day, the installment plan invoice will automatically be generated. You can disable this if you would rather manually generate installment plan invoices. If you did want to manually generate installment plan invoices, you can do this in bulk from the installment plan list. Check the boxes next to one or more plans and click Create Invoice. You can also do this from the installment plan review overlay by clicking Create Invoice. Let's get back to the installment plan we were creating. Below the advanced options, 12 calendar months will be automatically added for you. Select a service for each month you want the plan to be effective. You can change the month selection if you are invoicing for multiple line items per month. This also allows you more accurate monthly revenue tracking. Be sure to enter a quantity and rate on each line item. If there are months you will not be billing, click the trash can icon at the right to remove excess line items. If you need to add more line items, click Add Line. When you are finished making changes, click Save Installment Plan. You will be able to view your new installment plan on the Review Account Overlay and from the list of installment plans. Once you have created an installment plan, jobs can be billed to it so they do not generate their own invoices. This is set on the third step of the Job Wizard. Under Billing Preferences, select Installment Plan and choose the plan you want from the next drop-down list. 
Once you select a plan, you can also set overages in case additional invoices need to be generated after a certain amount of time or visits. Thank you for watching this video about installment plans.